Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and today we're going to look at creating snow using the particle systems to effect in After Effects. So here we have a wintry photo from the Sleepy Hollow graveyard in New York, and we have a black solid. We're going to apply the effect simulation CC particle systems too. If I move in on the timeline here, you'll see how the effect looks by default, like a yellow sparkler. As we look at some of the effect properties, you'll see birth rate and longevity of your particles. You'll see the producer, which is the position the emitter starts, and its size. The physics tab is where the magic happens. You'll see different ways the particles are born and some controls. You'll also see the particle type and size. And finally, the color. Since we're doing snow, I'll probably start with something low on the birth rate. Let's try 0.2, move the longevity to four seconds. For realistic snow, I like to do a faded sphere. And also I'll set the birth and death size of the particles down. Let's try 0.15 for both. And then we'll have to set the birth and death color to an off-white. I'll sample some colors from the scene, maybe the brighter and darker whites. So when we press spacebar to see what we have, you'll notice the particles are really just shooting out, not falling down. And that's because in the physics section, we're set to explosive. Since snow falls downward, we'll want to move the emitter up past the top of the screen. Let's raise the radius on both the X and Y axis so we cover the entire screen. Now let's switch this to twirly. And as you can see, this is good for when it's kind of blustery out uh, because it make, gives the snowflakes a lot of side-to-side -side motion. But being that in this scenario, we are using a still photo and not video and there's no wind, I think it's better to go with the direction option. And the direction will be 180 towards the ground. So we'll change that. This will make the particles fall straight down. We'll make the velocity 1.5. We'll put the gravity down to 0.2. Extra we can try 0.5 is to add the little extra, hence the name, to your particles movement. And as we play this now, we see some realistic snowfall. This should give you the idea on how this effect works and to play around with it. If I change the extra to zero, the particles are going to fall straight down. If I bump up extra, you see they get more movement, almost becoming borderline like the twirly emitter looked. I think a happy medium is 0.5. Obviously, if you need snowfall that is a little stronger, less subtle, you can play around with your velocity, your gravity, and the animation type to get more of a snowstorm look. So have fun creating snow with particle systems too. Thank you.